MAC marbles today, we're gonna write these individual descriptions below as an integer. We're gonna represent the situation and we're gonna model the integer on a number line using a scale. And that's gonna be real important as I'm thinking through each situation. I'm gonna try and think, is it to the left or to the right of zero? The context of these problems today has to have a bank account. So in a situation like this, and I'm going to have uh, just a regular number line. When I think of zero, and I'm thinking of my bank account. What would the zero mean? Zero would mean uh, I have nothing in my bank account. So zero in my bank account. And this is a money situation. Zero dollars in my bank account. So think for a minute. What would be the situations that would be positive, have a positive impact on my bank account? What does that mean? Have a positive effect on my bank account? Well, in this situation, it means anything that is increasing my bank account. So anything that increases my cash flow, my bank account is going to be positive. Okay. Anything that puts money in my bank account. The other side, the negative, is anything that takes from my bank account, anything that decreases my bank account. Okay, so I hope that context is going to be super helpful as we model through. So let's look at the very first one. And in this one, we're going to open a bank account with zero dollars. So the integer I'm going to use here is zero because nothing has happened. I've just started the account. So it's just going to be at zero. And I'm thinking about it. It's a start and there's no money in there. No change either. And I like to use a triangle when I think of the word change. And you'll see that a lot in science as well when you get older. So there's no change in my account. It's just at zero. Okay, in the second one, I want to make a $150 deposit. So when I deposit money, as that's money I'm putting into my account. That's what a deposit means, to put money into account. So if I'm putting money into my account, it's having a positive effect on my bank account. So I'm gonna represent this as a positive 150. So here's my number line. I was at zero, but I added money in there. So that's how I would represent 150. I've located to the right is positive. All right, and the next one, I have a credit in my account for 150. Now you've had credits probably when you're playing video games, if you have Roblox or you were playing some type of video game, when you have credits, it's like money in your account that you can spend. We love getting credits in games. So again, that's a positive. So I'm gonna represent that the same way. Here's zero. I'm also gonna represent it as positive 150. Credit adds to my account just like a deposit adds to my account now let's go to another one it says i make a deposit of 25 dollars. so we know what that word already means when we make a deposit we're adding money in so that's always a good thing math marbles when you have your own bank accounts you want to make sure that you are making deposits into your account and cash is going in so positive 25. And in the next one, the bank makes a charge. So they've charged you $5. So when I'm charged money, they're taking money out of my account. I'm losing $5. So that is a negative change. Because now I've lost. $5. It's coming out of my account. I want money going in. Now it's coming out. 
Um, and let's look at this one here. Tim withdrew. He withdraws $35. So think about this in the context of your bank account. And I want you to think about it that way. In terms of your bank account, did money increase? Did it go in or did it go out? It went out. So I'm going to count this as a negative. 35. And again, this is why the context really matters. Because you may think, well, Tim just gained money. He just got $35. But we're thinking about the context of our account. It decreased our account. So anytime we withdraw, it comes out of our account. So Math Marvels, here are a lot of bank terms. I hope this was really helpful when we think about money context. Anything like a deposit, a credit, those are positives to your account because they add money in. Anything like a charge or withdrawal, or if you write a check or you charge your ATM card, that is money coming out of your account. So we're gonna think of it as a negative integer. We can represent it in that way. So hit pause and let's jot this down into your notes. And again, just like always, I hope this is super helpful and you can use this thinking as you're working through your problems. Take care, Math Marvels. I'll see you in the next lesson and I hope to talk a lot more about financial literacy and math. Bye.